Uh, next, I'd like to uh, demonstrate buoyancy in Archimedes' principle using this styrofoam, styrofoam block and this tank of water. The styrofoam block is uh, 7 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches. And if I uh, put it uh, on the bottom surface, we would have 100 square inches of block uh, on the surface, 100 square inches on the bottom of that. And uh, we notice that the block, since it weighs practically nothing, essentially floats, displacing very, very little water. We'll neglect the water it displaces there. Again, we remind you that the buoyant force, B, is due to the pressure difference between the bottom surface and the top surface of the object. Now, there's practically no pressure on the top surface due to the water, and so the pressure on the bottom surface will have to account for the total buoyant force on this block of styrofoam. As I start to push down on it with my hand, I can feel going from practically zero buoyant force to a rather large buoyant force as I push it under the water, and I can feel that force building up, getting greater as I push it further under the water. I'm pushing with considerable force right there to hold it down as the water pressure from below pushes up, supplying the buoyant force. Now, to quantify this, let's uh, talk about uh, what a one pound weight on top of that block of styrofoam will do. I put that one pound weight on here and we notice that it displaces that block to a depth of about uh, one quarter inch. So that means then if I push down with a force of four pounds, it'll displace it to a depth of about one inch. I could either put these four pounds on there separately or it's uh, simpler to do it with a two kilogram object which has a weight of about four pounds, a little over four pounds. We'll call it four pounds. So I hear, here I have this, uh, this four pound weight, I'm going to call it, on top of this block of styrofoam and we see that it does indeed push it under the water to a depth of one inch. I'm just balancing it with my hand here. But this object, the styrofoam with the weight on top, it's all floating on the water. It's being held up by the buoyant force. So if there's a force pushing down of four pounds, the water has to push up with a buoyant force of four pounds. And using Archimedes' principle, we then see that there must be about four pounds of water displaced. In other words, 100 square inches across the bottom multiplied by one inch of depth gives us a volume of 100 cubic inches, so 100 cubic inches of water has a weight of approximately four pounds. More exactly, if you calculate it, it's about 3.6 pounds. We'll call it four pounds for simplicity. So we'll say four pounds of force pushing down on the block is counterbalanced by four pounds of buoyant force pushing up from the pressure of the water, pushing up on the bottom of the block. Now, if we take the block and... Uh, rotate it so that I have uh, an area across the bottom of, of uh, 7 by 10 or 70 square inches. That's a, smaller, that's a smaller area. But if I put the original 4 pounds back on that, according to Archimedes' principle, it would still have to displace 4 pounds of water, which means it's going to have to go a little bit deeper. And we see indeed that it does. It's now, just, it's now under the water a little bit more than an inch, deeper than it was on the larger surface area. So that the volume of water displaced is about four pounds, no matter what the shape or orientation is for the object. Four pounds of force pushing down mean that there has to be four pounds of buoyancy pushing up. Again, we're neglecting the weight of the styrofoam block for this particular uh, demonstration. Now, if I uh, take the entire block here again uh, so that the numbers come out simply, we have a hundred uh, square inch cross section and I push down with a force of about four pounds. It'll push it under the water about one inch. So 100 cubic inches of water weighs about four pounds. If I push it two inches, 200 cubic inches of water would weigh about 
eight pounds. I'm now pushing down with a force of eight pounds, and there's a buoyant force pushing up of eight pounds. Three inches would be 12 pounds. Four inches would be 16 pounds. Five inches would be 20 pounds. And then we could go 24 pounds and 28 pounds. Now I'm pushing down with a force of 28 pounds and it's totally immersed. Now there's some pressure building up on the top surface, but the pressure on the bottom surface is even greater. And as I go deeper, that pressure difference will remain constant and the volume of the water displaced and the weight of the water displaced will remain constant no matter how deep I go, assuming the density of water stays constant. And therefore, it takes 28 pounds to continue to push it on down deeper and deeper and deeper. So when it's totally immersed, the buoyant force is equal to the weight of a volume of water equivalent to the volume of this entire uh, block of styrofoam, which is 700 cubic inches when it's all the way under the water. So 700 cubic inches then, if my math in my head is correct, 700 cubic inches of water would have a weight of about 28 pounds. Buoyancy and Archimedes principle.